Hi, I'm Mary Claire Wilson, and this is my review of New Order, British Art Today at the Saatchi Gallery. My first thought, after going through the two tiny rooms dedicated to this exhibition, was, is that it? Most of the gallery now displays the paper show, which is currently getting rave reviews. In contrast, the tiny British show ambles about, tentative, uncertain and insecure. We can believe in nothing, apparently. Raphael Zawistowski debunks religion. Her Jesus Christ and assorted popes in melted wax and pigment are ugly, faceless icons. Their halos either weak or glowing unhealthily, more radioactive than holy. Family is out of the window. Wendy Meyer's half-sized stuffed figures in what should be comforting family tableau are unnerving, stuck with pins and cross-stitched as if their joints were cut more inside out. Don't even think about politics. Dominic from Luton replaced political history as panto in his Dominic from Luton as Margaret Thatcher series, which sees the artist dressed as Maggie in sordid rooms. Nature, whether human or animal, it's red in tooth and claw. Greta Alfaro's video, in Ukti Okali, in the blink of an eye, stages a banquet descended upon by vultures and picked clean, this is no Last Supper, which ends in a blessing. This is a celebration of greed, that doesn't leave a scrap behind. Did I say bankers or vultures? Technology won't save us either. James Kappa's Rupertine and Nipper, reimagine industrial machinery as a nightmare. The huge machine parts take on the organic but threatening forms of crab pincers or steel teeth. I don't know what to make of the touch of Southern Gothic introduced by Teresa Zelikova's two photos, Comet Is and Crocodile. Both seem to come out of a horror movie set in Louisiana via Tokyo. Other than adding to the general sense of unease, the photos are no more British than the artist's name. So, nothing here to compare it to the Love It or Hate It Sensation Exhibition of 1997, that young Brit art explosion of art world legend, either in size or in scope. It's all just a bit average. Perhaps the age of the contributors is relevant. With half in their 20s and the other half in their 30s, uh, they are the post-boom era. Our world is smaller and more insecure. Still, it's all very well for these artists to dismantle whatever concepts they fancy. How about creating something instead? New British Art runs at the Saatchi Gallery on the 29th of September this year. Keep up with my blog, follow me on Twitter, at Bite Size Mary.